Hello everyone. So this is your third session of chapter 4 data structures. So in the previous session you have studied about the linear search. In this session you are going to study about the binary search. The drawback of linear search is that it takes lot of time to search the location of an element. To overcome that drawback we are going to use this binary search. So in binary search the elements should be stored in a sorted order. So it should be stored in a the elements are stored in a sorted order that is in ascending order that is in ascending order it should be in the ascending order so this is the drawback of binary search so in this search the first what it will do the search starts from the middle element of an array first it is going to search with the middle element of the array search with the middle element of an array if the search element is not equal to the middle element of the array then it is going to search the element either to the right side of the array or to the left side of the array. So now let's see how to search the location of an element using binary search. So consider an array containing ten, twenty five, thirty, forty, fifty, and sixty. Trace the binary search. Trace the binary search algorithm to find the location of an element thirty. So this array contains 10, 25, 30, 40, 50 and 60 as its elements. So all the elements are in sorted order. So now let's see how to search the location of an element 30 using binary search. So what is our array? Our array is 10, 25. Our array contains 10, 25, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Variables comparison. Always it starts from 0 1 2 up to n minus 1. So here first we have to mark the beginning as well as the 
end of an array. So this is the beginning of the array and this is the end of the array. So the value of B is 0. And the value of N is 5. Now what we have to do? We have to find out the middle element of an array. So what, how to find the middle element of an array? That is M is equal to B plus E by 2. That is int of b plus e by 2 which is nothing but 0 plus 5 by 2 0 plus 5 by 2 that is 2.5 so we have to consider 2 itself we cannot consider 2.5 here that is a of 2 is the middle element of an array so now I have to compare the search elements. So, what is our search element? Search element is 30. Our search element is 30. So, I am comparing it with the middle element. First, I have to compare it with middle element. So, that is the value is 30. So, 30 is equal to 30. Hence, 30 is found in which location? Location 2. Hence, 30 is found in location 2. Understood? First, we have to compare the element with the middle element. So, if it is found, then we have to print the location of that element. If that element is not found, we have to check the value of the search element which is greater than the middle element or not. If the value of the search element is greater than the middle element, then we have to search the element to the right of the array or we have to find the element to the left of the array. So here we got the element in location 2 that is with the middle element of an array. So now let us see another method. So the array contains fourteen, thirty-two, sixty-three, seventy-five, and ninety-eight. The search element is 75. Search element is 75. Variables and comparison. Yes. So, what is the beginning element of an array? That is 14. The value of B becomes 0. Next, the end of an array is 98. Hence, the value of E is 4. Then what we have to do? We have to find out the middle element of an array. How to find? M is equal to 0 plus 4 by 2, which is nothing but 2. So, location 2 is the middle element. Now, what we have to do? We have to compare the search element with the middle element. Is 63 is equal to 75? No. So, 63 does not equal to 75. Hence, what we have to do? We have to check whether the value of search element is greater than the middle element. So, 75 is greater than 63. Hence, we have to search the element towards the right of an array. Right of an array. So, then the beginning becomes 
m plus 1 see Sixty-three, seventy-five, and ninety-eight. End remains same. So this is our end. So as the search element is greater than the middle element value, that is sixty-three, we have to search element to the right side of an array. So the beginning becomes m plus one. What is middle plus one is three. So this position becomes beginning, and this position becomes end of an array. Next, I have to find the middle element. So what is the value of b? Beginning element value is three. End element value is four. Then middle element value is m is equal to Three plus four by two. What is three plus four by two? Seven by two is three point five. So I cannot consider three point five. I can consider three as our middle element. So this is our beginning as well as middle element of an array. Now I am going to compare this seventy five with the search element. So what is the value of the search element? The value of the search element is seventy five and seventy five. Is equal to seventy five. Hence, the element element seventy five is found in location is found in location. Which location? In location. Three in location three. Understood. So if the search element is greater than the middle element, we have to go towards the right side of an array. If the search element value is less than the middle element value, then we have to come towards the left side of an array. Next, we are going to trace this array using binary search. Twenty three, forty four, fifty two, fifty one, fifty five, and seventy eight. Variables and comparison. A of two, A of three, and A of four. So our search element is thirty-five. Search element is thirty-five. So what we have to do? First, we have to mark down the beginning as well as end. So the beginning is zero, end is four. We have to find out the middle element, right? So how to find the middle element? Beginning plus end by two. Zero plus four by two is two. So our middle element is two. First, what we have to do? The first condition we have to check the search element with the middle element. So thirty-five is equal to fifty-one. So fifty-one does not equal to thirty-five. Hence, we have to check whether the search element value is less than or greater than the middle element value. So, hence, thirty-five is less than fifty-one. We have to search the element towards the left side of an array. Towards the left side of an array. Twenty-three, forty-four, fifty-one, sixty-five, and seventy-eight. So now end becomes what m minus one. So 
m minus 1 means 1. So, this is our end and this is our beginning. This is our beginning. So, the value of b becomes 0, end becomes 1. So, what is m? 0 plus 1 by 2. 0 plus 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5. We have to consider 0 itself. So, this is our m. This is our m. So, now I have to compare 35 with 23. So, 35 does not equal to 23. Hence, this element 35 is not found. So, 35 is not found. Hence, 35 is not found. I hope you people understood how to search the location of an element using binary search algorithm. So, first we have to check whether the elements of an array are in sorted order or not. That is in a ascending order. Then what we have to do? We have to mark the beginning as well as end. Then we have to find the middle element of an array. Then we have to compare the search element with the middle element of an array. If it is found, we have to print the location. Otherwise, we have to check whether the value of search element is greater than or less than the middle element. If it is greater than the value of the middle element, we have to search element towards the right of the array or else we have to search towards the left side of the middle element of an array. Thank you.